on it, so it's going to go crazy and it's going to be yeah, that's, amazing. Yeah, that's what is uh oh. Um, oh boy, what? what? I don't know. What is that? I'm scared. What? Is this We're should, we, should we duck and cover We're or I don't know? I think we have to swim. By the way, we're about six minutes out from a point. I get a point? I Hello. missed my point last oh. year. Hello? Hello? The color's going to get me a point. Yep. Hello? Hello? This is, this is Keller. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Desert Bus. So, uh, uh, have you all lost your minds yet? Yo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ago. That's happened a while ago. That happened about 10 years ago before yeah. we even started this stuff, so. Yeah, but I would think it would be at least 800 miles away that you would have lost your minds. I, I, I would have myself. Um, so how is it going with you? Really well. Yeah, it's going uh, It's going as well, if not better, in some time. We keep crossing last year's total. So uh, we don't know, but we are very close to last year, if not slightly above, which is pretty exciting. And how how much longer is it going? We've gone for 72 hours so far, and if we weren't to get another single donation right now, we'd still go for another almost 70 hours, 68 hours, 67 hours. So yeah, okay. It's gonna be so a can while. That be, can that donation be for me? It can. We have no restrictions yes. on who can donate who can things. Donate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then it's going to be for me. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And, and it's going to be 500 bucks. Is that all right? That sounds That's awesome. awesome. That you. sounds so fine. Yeah. That is so Good. fine. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll tell me after this call how I get the, uh, the dough to you, correct? Oh, Absolutely. yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll sort that out. No problemo. Thank you. <laughs> oh, 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 or I could just announce all my credit card numbers yeah. right now over the public airwaves. And, and as long as you include I would find, expiry dates. I would find my Amazon account uh, just quite, quite emptied out. I'm sure that's safe. It's, it's just the internet and us, and you can totally trust the internet. So. Yeah. Oh, yes, you can. You yeah. can always trust the internet. It's true. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, and also, do you, do you guys need any food, or are you, are you set for now? We, uh, we are set for now. We, uh, you know, your amazing generosity in previous years of sending us food, which was so appreciated, has, uh, has been, uh, uh, somebody else has taken up the mantle and uh, has been sending us uh, food on a regular basis. So it's been very nice. It's a catered dish. Excellent, excellent. Glad to, glad to set an example. <laughs> <laughs> so does watching this bring uh, back terrible memories for yeah, you? I'm sorry, has anybody veered off the road yet? No. No, no we're yet. doing really, really well. We have eight points so far. Yeah. Eight wow. points. Our goal is, or our, I, I our know, record is 14. I know how much a point, a point costs you in, in effort, so I'm very impressed. Eight points. Wow. <laughs> and we're about three minutes out from getting uh, another one. Yeah, now. we may get a point actually while you're while you're on the phone with us. It's very exciting. Ooh. We'll name it after you. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us point. Yes. Well, I've got I've got to stick around until 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 you get your get your point. Awesome. <laughs> Now, how, how do you how do you guys work this? Do you have uh, do you, does it ever, does the does the group ride in the bus while one of you drives? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I guess that I guess that's the idea is that we're all kind of sitting in the back of the bus. We, we don't practice normal road yeah. safety though, because I mean the, the driver is in the driver's seat, but everybody else is is dancing around in the back of the bus. Like you wouldn't yeah. normally do that in a bus, but there's some shenanigans on this bus. You, you have yeah, to keep yourself going. I think there are many cases where the driver could be considered impaired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably right from the start. Do you, do, you, uh, do you sing 99 bottles of beer on the wall except you start with 10,000? <laughs> We've never done that. 9,999 bottles of beer on the wall, 9,999 bottles of beer. <laughs> That sounds like a great way to get people to donate until we stop doing that. <laughs> I would think that would be a very good, that would be a very good policy. You could also, the ones, the ones in the back could also be practicing sleight of hand. 
because you know there are generally two ways you get to be good at sleight of hand. One is to get get sick for a long time and be in the hospital, and the other is to be in prison. But it occurs to me that you're in a perfect circumstance to you know like learn learn the, the perfect invisible path. <laughs> Hey, on that. hey, tell her this is uh, Alan from Al Jazeera. I have a dumb reporter question for you. <laughs> uh, did you ever think when you or somebody designed this game that somebody would someday use it to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, for charity? Of course we did. That was our major intention. When we first saw it, we thought that some Canadian nuts would do this. No! Uh, <laughs> the longest con. It took ingenious guys it took ingenious guys like you to uh, to, to think to take this this means of self torment and uh, and turn it into turn it into fun. But then again, you know, Ken and I also support our local our local um, uh, AIDS organization uh, by by walking miles and miles and miles once a year, and uh, you know, and we, and we show up at the blood drive and, and give away pen and teller tickets. So uh, that's uh, you know we're, we're we're used to the idea of self torment as a way of. of we just of, got of a point. Point. There's There's a point. point. There's the point. There's the point. There's the point. All right, all right. Nine points. Okay. Tellers points. <laughs> Nine points. <laughs> so this this game's well, been called the uh, the dumbest, the most boring, the worst video game ever. How do you rank it? Well, I, I considering that our intention was to create the dumbest, most boring video game ever. I, I rated a one hundred percent success. <laughs> You know, it, the idea the idea really was to uh, to create a video game that was just like real life because you know people were complaining that video games were too fantastical, and so this was our this was our answer to all the to all the people who uh, who said oh video games they just they just breed uh, fantasies unrealistic fantasies in their in the in the players. This is our uh, this is our chance to say well here you want a realistic video game sit down and play this one motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I mean, it's so uh, it's so interesting that you know that debate is basically still happening in uh, in the media and stuff. You know, it seems like we haven't really advanced very far. And no, uh, we, I, that that debate will always that, de that debate will always be a convenient one for for political people because it it means nothing. It costs them nothing. It gives them something to yap about. You know, while they're while they're siphoning all of our money into their pockets, uh, they need they need some bit of misdirection, and so they take a topic that 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 oh, the, it really any time you hear a politician uh, 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 wail, oh, the children, the children, you know, it's a bluff of some kind. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is for the children, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we are by no means politicians. No. And probably will never be able to be politicians. Even <laughs> <laughs> the amount of no, stuff I, is on the internet, I, I, it's, a, it's, it's a badge of honor if you guys are never, are never, are never politicians. <laughs> but you know, it, it goes. You, you think of, you think of, it just, it's happened. It's happened for really centuries. You, you can go back as. Go back to the jazz age. Jazz is jazz is killing our morality. So let's parade about jazz, you know. And rock and roll is now killing the morality of our children. And now video games are killing the morality of our children. You know, that's it's the nature of human nature that uh, the kids are always going to want to do something that that drives their parents a little bit crazy and that they really really enjoy. So it's I think it's just part of being human beings that we'll find that kind of debate forever. <laughs> Does it seem weird to you that Tally's going to be doing this for the next 12 hours straight? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, say that again, please. Tally's going to be doing this for the next 12 hours straight. How do you feel about that? Nothing but admiration. <laughs> sheer, sheer, sheer awesome worship and admiration. You can put that on your resume. I think, yeah. I, will. Yeah. I, think I will. I'm going to add that to my Twitter profile. <laughs> as soon as I'm done driving. In 12 hours. In 12 hours. No, know that as you're doing that for the next 12 hours, I will be, I will be singing your praises in Vegas 
in the form of this 99 bottle of beer over there. <laughs> Made my day. I, I watched you guys, your videos, when I was a kid. My mom would let us get the, uh, the National Geographic and the like, things like Penn and Teller and uh, Cirque du Soleil and stuff like that from the library to watch because we didn't really have TV channels. So I can know now that my childhood the things that I loved in my childhood are coming back in my adulthood. <laughs> in such a great way. Awesome. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm so glad to return as a bit of the ancient past. <laughs> <laughs> I'm young, I'm young. It's very recent. <laughs> you know, so, so, sometimes, so, uh, sometimes uh, after, after every show that we do, people, people uh, come, when they come out of the theater, they find us hanging around in the lobby. And we, we chat with them and we autograph things and we take pictures with them. And every once in a while, I'll get somebody to walk up to me and say, I, like somebody in his 30s, mid 30s, uh, will walk up to me and say, I just wanted to tell you that when I was, when I was six years old, you brought me up on stage. And then he turns, turns, turns to the rest of his family and says, and here's my six year old son. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then that, that that really makes me feel good, honestly. You know, I, the, the the fact the fact that I'm an ancient an ancient crone, um, <laughs> and it's great that you guys do this. And I, I'm 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 so happy. And uh, once we get off this this line, will you call me back and let me give you the uh, proper credit card number to make a contribution? I think we can absolutely make that happen. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> Well, no. I, I'll be I'll be right here awaiting your call. I actually have to get ready to go into a workout right now to preserve my my uh, what's left of my body. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're also we you know Penn and I are like doing some pretty frantic stuff. I just opened a, a, a thing in Los Angeles called Play Dead, which was a show that I ran in New York for about a year, and it has a brand new um, brand new uh, production of it going in in, in L.A. that I, I wrote and I co-wrote and directed and that opens tomorrow night so i'll fly there tomorrow night and then the following morning i'll fly to new york because we got a film called tim's vermeer which is a um a documentary although now i'm i want to stop stop calling documentaries documentaries i want to be like walt disney and call them true life adventures because <laughs> do documentary sounds so much like something you'd have in a legal case or a, or a school classroom whereas true life adventure well that's that's a different story and we, we, we fly to New York, and then we fly back the next day so we can be here for shows on Saturday. So we're, we're running around in circles. But uh, we're very happy. Now, Teller, uh, there's one last thing. Um, we have a challenge that we're doing where every person we're talking to, we're trying to get them to uh, tell us uh, a, their, what their superhero would be if they could be a superhero. Or if, uh, or who their favorite superhero could be if they could create a superhero, and uh, one of our very generous uh, uh, viewers is donating money for every superhero that we can find that we can get from some people. So, we were wondering uh, if you could maybe, uh, what what superhero, what name your superhero would have, and what powers he would have. <laughs> Well, I mean, mine, mine probably has to be Mandrake the Magician. You know, he's a classic, a classic, a, a old cartoon superhero uh, who, who who is a crime fighter using magic tricks. That would that seems like the the, the inevitable choice for me. Uh, does that does that suit your your fancy, like or do you need me to create one? You need me to you need me to create one. Uh, so I'll, I'll, be, I'll be happy to create one too. Or, sure, you know, yeah. Uh, create one would would be Waffle, Waffle Man. Okay. Um, <laughs> waffle, because I'm I'm a breakfast chef and I love waffles and I love making waffles. So Waffle Man would be a guy who carries a waffle iron with him, and uh, he he works two ways to conquer the to conquer the um, the foe. Uh, one is he 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 feeds them waffles. And they, they're so delighted with the pleasure of waffles that they become good people. Uh, and, and if that doesn't work, he hits them with a waffle iron. I, I, like, I like that he, does, he has both ways of dealing with problems. That works well. Abs absolutely. Both, both the seductive way and the other way. And, of course, if he's got, a, got a, an opponent who's, who's too physically active and dangerous, Waffle man can just feed him enough waffles that the guy can't ever move again. Um, that, that's nice. He also his 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 sidekick is called Maple Syrup, and 
<laughs> they work cooperatively. Maple syrup is, is, is not one of the more agile sidekicks because he's a little jug with feet. Uh, and and uh, you know, his, when, when maple syrup gets excited, his, his, uh, his lid starts spinning, you know, and, and, and sometimes little, little puffs of uh, overly warm maple syrup come popping out the top of his head. I feel like you've actually thought about this. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you, you ask me, and I think, Waffle Man. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. You know, Thank you very he, much. He, he, he has a cape. He has a cape, and then he has a shirt, and on the front of the shirt is the waffle grid. And it, it, actually, the house that he lives in is a giant waffle grid. Uh, you know, and, you know and, and, uh, so it, it looks... It looks uh, it, 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 it's got one one completely clear wall, so you can see into all the rooms. Well, if, if that suffices, I'll I'll let you guys I'll let you uh, get on with your next point. <laughs> <laughs> and you give me a call right away, and let me give you credit card information for, to make a good contribution because you guys are wonderful. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. Give me a call. Hey, Tim. It's John. Yeah. I'm here off air now. That definitely sounds like a uh, an art challenge. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Waffle Man art challenge. <laughs> All right. Give me a second here. <laughs> Jeremy. Yes, Sally. Um, mm, I don't know if you noticed, by the way, but somebody referred to you in the chat earlier as Tally Husband. I don't like that one. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I've also seen a few a few fans call you Mr. Hyalka. I approve of this. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, could you bring me prize number 28? Tally plus one. That's right. That's yeah. Tally and working and space. Sorry, prize number eight. 28. And I'm just trying to find another one here. And, um... Uh, room audio? Apparently it's quiet. 28, and also... <coughs> sorry, hang on a second. <coughs> Too much multitasking. Driving is hard. Uh, 28 and 176. Okay. Um, do I know one? Do I know one? Kind of parcels up. Which one? Uh, I think 28 is a box. It's got some adorable little needle felted things in it, but not the one that I did. Okay. And, uh, the other one should be a, a squishy package with an interesting red hat inside. <laughs> so yes, that was Teller calling. That was really exciting because I know Teller talks, and he's actually um, um, talked to us before, but not live on air. So I don't think I have ever heard Teller talk before. And he said he'd be singing my praises all day, so it was just a thing. You know, yeah, I'm gonna add that to my resume. That seems afternoon. that seems reasonably cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's fine. My my brother, Mr. I'm in law school. Wait till I tell him that that's what I accomplished today. Getting a real job and everything. He needs a real job. I'm being stung by Teller. All right, so uh, if you guys were listening to that awesome call in we just had, Teller described a really, really detailed superhero Waffle Man and his sidekick, Maple Syrup. Um. Pen's calling in? No! <laughs> well, let's just call in! Okay! Welcome to my ship. We just can't keep it calm. It's too exciting around here. Ken is <laughs> Sorry, we're doing this. I like that we have an alarm for that now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah somebody came screaming down the stairs and just went, quacks it. <laughs> <laughs> somebody pressed a button somewhere and it happened. Yep. Oh my gosh. If you guys want to start drawing Waffle Man and Maple Syrup, I am going to do an art challenge and prize for it so you can get a head start. Although there, there might be a different superhero now. Too. <laughs> there, might, there may be another superhero to Fight. add to the picture. They, they, yeah. Or maybe a super villain. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. Ooh, yeah. that yeah. All right. And then we're going to do a donation drive challenge or something really cool after. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ben. It's Johnny. I'll, be, I'll switch you on right now. I'm switching you live right now. Okay. I'm doing it. Hello, this is Pat. How are you? Hey, Ben. Hi. Hello, Ben. We're doing pretty good. How, how, uh, how many points you got? Nine. Nine. <laughs> we literally just got a point uh, about five minutes ago while we were talking to Teller. So there you go. Wow. We named it after uh, Wow. 
So I'm afraid we won't get a point while we're talking to you unless you stay on the line for a very long time. <laughs> well, I'm a very patient man. <laughs> So, uh, what's, how, how's it going? Everything's going beautiful? So far? So far, we haven't crashed. Seven years, we're kind of actually getting the hang of this now. Yeah. <laughs> does, does seeing this game bring back terrible, terrible memories of this road trip for you? Is it harrowing? Well, you know, first of all, I've never made the road trip. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Second of all, I've never played the game. <laughs> You, yeah. sir, need to come to Desert Bug. We, actually, the, we would like to report a bug, actually, because yeah. uh, <laughs> obviously there was some distinct lack of testing involved in this, and it, once it goes to night, it never goes back to daytime again. <laughs> Is that true? Nobody, it, it goes, it goes daytime, Da daytime, dusk, night, and then dusk, night, dusk, night, dusk, night. It never goes back to day. <laughs> I guess nobody. Yeah. What do you want? Do you want it to be too easy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming because nobody bothered to play it for 24 hours to actually. <laughs> if, you want, if you want easy, play Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> we'll tell the Mario Marathon guys that. Yeah. <laughs> This is uh, this is supposed to be hard work, you know. I I told this story a million times, but you know, during the Clinton administration, when Janet Reno was uh, Attorney General or whatever she was, she said that um, video games were wrong and bad and violent, and they should design video games that were more like real life and having a real job. And this is supposed to be like having a real job, which means fucking misery. <laughs> so you just took out the violent and kept the long and bad part. What's that? You just took out the violent but kept the long and bad part. <laughs> yeah, we did, exactly. <laughs> so that was the plan. So how much, uh, how much money did you raise? Uh, what, $1,299? <laughs> so, we, so uh, at the moment, uh, for this uh, this year, we have raised a total of one hundred and seventy seven thousand dollars, four hundred nine or one hundred and seventy seven thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars. Wow, that's pretty good. And uh, we're coming up to we're actually are very close to raising uh, one point five million dollars. Uh, for the entire uh, course of the seven in over the seven years that we've been doing Desert Bus. That's the way it should be. You well, know, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah we figure that's okay. <laughs> we sort of bought uh, out the rest of the year. How much? How much should Teller give you? <laughs> <laughs> Teller, uh, Teller has uh, said that he's going to donate five hundred dollars, which is very generous. Biker, biker. <laughs> I, I will do better than that. <laughs> I see. <laughs> so 501, yeah, is that? <laughs> awesome. You know me so well. <laughs> you know me so, so well. Now, but I assume you bet by one, one penny, is that correct? That's <laughs> already called it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. That's awesome. Well, that's well, we uh, we always cheer you on. I retweeted you, and I'm so glad that you're uh, you're doing so well. Uh, and how many hours do you think you're going this time? Well, we are current. We've currently gone for uh, over 72 hours, mm -hmm. and uh, provided nobody donates any more money, which is probably not going to happen. But <laughs> uh, currently, uh, we've got about another uh, 68. 67 hours to go, uh, but uh, <laughs> but uh, judging from past experience, we're looking at we're probably going to be going to sometime on Friday. You know, I love you guys so much. You know, if you go to Eddie Gorodetsky's uh, Wikipedia page, now Eddie Gorodetsky. Uh, wrote with Bob Dylan theme time radio hour. He's won Emmys on Saturday Night Live and David Letterman. He writes uh, 
Mom, The Big Bang Theory, and Two and a Half Men. If you go to Eddie Gordetsky's Wikipedia page, it used to be the very first thing they said about him was he was the co-founder, uh, the co-writer of Desert Buns. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it still is. <laughs> the first thing listed under his credits. Wow. Yeah. 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 So if you want to know what the crowdsourced world thinks is the biggest accomplishment, uh, I think any Gordetsky's Wikipedia page shows you that. <laughs> and I, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go and donate some money, and then I'm going to probably get, I'll probably get Eddie to call you. Has Eddie called you yet? He has not. We we heard from okay. the very first year. The very first year, uh, you and Eddie phoned, uh, and I believe Eddie actually the first year. Uh, donated money for us to crash the bus. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm but, gonna get, I'll get, I'll get Eddie to give you a call uh, sometime in the next 72 hours. Uh, thank awesome. you. All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Now, uh, Penn, there is one more thing. We have been asking sure. people uh, who phone in for superheroes. We uh, somebody some generous donor has uh, is going to donate money for every superhero that we can get from people who uh, who phone in, and we so we're trying to get people to make up their own superhero. Uh, now Teller came up with Waffle Man, uh, who is a man yeah. who uh, fills people up with waffles, and we thought it might be fun if you could think of a uh, a, a villain for Waffle Man <laughs> to fight. Well, 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 the villain for Waffle Man is a uh, is a uh, one of the legion of super uh, super human villains who was thrown out of the legion of superhuman villains. They were being so useless. His name is um, his name is uh, Chickenhead. Has a chicken <laughs> attached to his head. But then he was able to leave the legion of uh, superhuman uh, villains uh, and go to the legion of super animal villains and become Manfoot. And as Manfoot, he was very, very dangerous. Because a chicken with a it's man all, on his foot it's all is really, thing, really, really a super animal. But a man with a chicken on his head is much less useful. So he is a villain who also understands that context is everything. So it's Manfoot, the chicken superhero or supervillain, as opposed to Chickenhead, the useless human supervillain. Do you understand that clearly? I, I like that. I like that. Yeah, it's just it's just all a matter of perspective. Yeah, it's where you want to go. In other words, if you are uh, hardly talented at all, and if you become a rock and roll star, you fail completely. But if you aren't that talented and you become a magician, you could have your own show in fucking Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> All I am, in a certain sense, is manfoot. <laughs> this is a big analogy. That's nice for life. <laughs> exactly. And you know, it's just, I just pick those things at random, the rock and roll star and the Vegas magician. But uh, it could be a, applicable to a lot of things. Hey, Penn, I have a dumb reporter question real quick. Uh, sure. This is Al from Al Jazeera. What, one, almost $1.5 million. What do you think of these people? $1.5 million? Well, I mean, you're asking me to answer like a real question. The real question is what they do is wonderful and beautiful. I mean, they give, they give uh, video games to children that really need them, and need them is the right word there. And uh, it's a terrifically fun thing that actually helps people. And how often do you have a terrifically fun thing that actually helps people as opposed to all the other fun things you do that fuck up other people's lives? <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's huh? fair. I like that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time to call us. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get Eddie on the on the on the blower, and uh, then uh, and then he'll call you in too, and I'll drop some jingle on you right now. All right. Um, okay. You, you know I love you guys.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. You know, I can picture him getting off the phone and doing that kind of cackle laugh and just being like, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, I want to know if they ever thought anybody would ever play this game at all. Right. <laughs> well, apparently the story goes that originally they had a, there, there was going to be, you know, this game was never actually released, right? right? But originally there was going to be, uh, they were going to have a contest to that the first people, the first, per they, they, they were thinking like maybe like a fraternity or something would have like a, a big thing where they would do it. And that if somebody got 100 points, <laughs> they would get like a party bus mm. and you know with like with, with, with like you know strippers and all you know and and all you know all this stuff and actually have this big huge bus to go from tucson to las vegas or back or whatever and then you know put them up in a vegas hotel and do like a huge contest uh if you got 100 points so the year that we finally reached a total of 100 points ever, we need to call them up and be like, mm. hey, where's that Vegas trip? <laughs> Incident, <laughs> incidentally, I actually saw a thing. Somebody um, did a thing, you know, using um, an emulator and uh, like a frame skip thing so you can speed through it. It only goes up to 99 points. What? You can't get, like, like it gives, That's there, especially there, there's like, because there's, there's like seven zeros on the points, right? Like, <laughs> just, just the thing. But after you get 99 points, it stops counting. Oh, <laughs> Again, they never bothered to check because they never thought that anybody would. <laughs> well, that's 800 hours. That's like over a month. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, frat boys might do that. Let's maybe not.